Hey y'all, what is up? This is Ray. Thank you for tapping back in. How have you guys been doing? Today is Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023, which means that we have made it into the new year. Thank you, God, right? Very thankful for that. So today, I am here with another video for you guys. I actually just got off work not that long ago. Um, I don't know if you recall, but I did say that I was going to be off of work for some time. And so the last time that I was actually in the office was uh, December 20th was my last day in the office. And so I've been off until today. And so I'm back. I'm energized, even though I'm tired because I have been up since four o'clock this morning. I went to the gym at five. And then, of course, I came home, showered, got ready, and I've been working ever since then until now. And so I wanted to just pop back in and come to you with the video because I have a bright idea. So as you know, you know, with the new year, everybody is super focused on just being a better person, a better version of themselves, getting their health in order physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, all of that. And that's something that I'm focused on too. And so I figured, why won't we do it together? Like, why won't we kind of create this little group together and see how we can help motivate and encourage one another to just be a better, you know, person for ourselves. So a little bit about me. Um, I've always been a thicker girl. I don't know if I look tall or not on camera, but I'm only 5'3", and today I'm actually wearing heels. So I'm quite short. I've always been thicker, more smaller at the top and a little, a little curvy at the bottom for sure. You know, I got the thighs and I got the booty and I got that from my mother naturally. And so that's always how I've been built. And anytime that I do gain weight, because I'm so short, I gain weight and I get wider because there's only so much, you know, room that the weight can actually grow as far as length and height is concerned. And so that's not something that I have loved. And so there has been times throughout my life that I have definitely focused on doing what I need to do to get more into shape. Um, I'm in my 40s, so I don't think that I look you know, crazy old, but I do think that when I'm smaller, I look more youthful. Of course, I have more energy and I just think that it's a better version of myself. And so I kind of want to get back to that. During the pandemic, um, I did take some time to focus on my health a little bit more than I was normally doing. And I have been working out consistently for some years where I probably go to the gym about five or six hours a day. That's, or not five or six hours a day, five or six times a week. That's just me though. Like that's not a requirement by any means, but it's something that I love to do. Working out is a stress reliever for me. It's something that motivates me. It's something that encourages me. And working out early in the morning has always helped me get my day started because most of the times I'm too drained and tired to go to, to the gym after work. And the gym is typically more busy after work hours. People are trying to be cute. You got away from machines. I do not have time. And so I get up early morning to go to the gym because it helps start my day. But I also don't have to deal with all the superficial things that I feel like I'd have to deal with if I went to the gym after hours. And so I don't do it. Um, but like I said, I like going to the gym. And so before the pandemic, I was going to the gym, but I really wasn't focused on weight loss. I've always been a curvy girl. And so I was okay with being, you know, a shorter, thicker version of myself. And I think at that time I was 182. And so I have some videos and I don't have a lot of videos on my YouTube page. So if you do want to check it out, please do. And then please also subscribe and like and comment and engage with me because I like that kind of stuff. But um, if you look at some of my videos from a couple of years ago, I do have one video that shows you where I was when I was about 182 and then where I was and I think I was like 165 or something like that I had lost 20 to 22 pounds in like two or three months or something like that like it was very quick and at the time I wasn't focused on weight loss but because of the pandemic the lack of toilet paper the lack of food resources and things were just kind of scarce and we didn't really know what was going on I figured a couple of things needed to happen. One, I wanted to make sure that if I was going to be seated at home, that I was not just gonna be eating all damn day, especially not a lot of processed foods. Number one, it would have been expensive because I do have a family, but then number two, it just wasn't something I was trying to do because I didn't want to get bigger. And so I thought about um, intermittent fasting and kind of read up about that and I started to do that. And then I started to walk, cause shit, what else was there to do? The gyms were closed. I couldn't go to the gym like I was normally doing. And so those were my main reasons just to make sure that I stayed on top of where I currently were as far as where my weight was and you know how my body was 
And I kid you not, that weight started to fall off. And the only thing that I was doing at the time was just walking, preparing my own meals, which like I said, I have a family, so I've been cooking for many years and um, just intermittent fasting. So I was just being very mindful about the times that I ate and the times that I didn't eat. And that was it. And the weight came off. And I literally fell in love with the way that I looked. I felt like I looked younger. I had more energy. And because I've always been a curvy girl, I've had that thick thigh, big booty situation with the small waist and so it's always been difficult for me to find pants unless they have stretch and then if they do stretch or I can't get them over my hips or my booty then I have to worry about if they're going to fit in the waist that's always been an issue but when I lost weight it was less of an issue I didn't have to worry about trying on clothes all the time making sure they fit making sure they had enough stretch like I felt like I was just solid and it made me even more confident in who I am and I'm a pretty confident woman in the first place but when I was smaller like I don't know there was just something about it that I loved so so once the world kind of opened back up and we got to traveling and doing all kind of things that we have been doing before the pandemic, even though we were still in the pandemic, but it just wasn't the thick of it like it was, then I kind of got back to just having fun and not being as mindful as I was before. And the way it came back, not all of it, but a good amount of it came back, which is all good. And now I just figure like, you know what, Ray, like you really liked where you were, get back to where you were because you've done it before, you know what to do, get on top of your game. And so, so far I lost seven pounds. And I think what really, if I'm being honest, if I think what really kind of like takes me to really get back and be more focused on what I was doing, was that we do something called a biometric screening at my job once a year and it pretty much plays a part in your um your annual benefit premium right so if it shows that you're healthier and that you don't smoke cigarettes and that you're working out and that your waist is this side and you weigh this much and your bmi is here or there then you get a certain deduction on your annual premiums but if you do smoke and there's other things which means that you have a higher risk of getting sick or having some type of medical complication then your premiums go up and so I thought I was fine. And then the, way the lady measured me and I was very close to where I was pre-pandemic. And that was in August of just 2021. And that kind of made me sad. I can't even lie. So that's when I was like, Ray, get back on your shit. Get back on your game. And since that time, I've lost seven pounds. So yeah, we're getting back to it. And so now I think I have like 10 more pounds that I want to lose. Just get everything back together. Get back in shape. Get a little bit smaller. And I think at the time my smallest weight was about 156. I do not care to be that small again. Um, I did, and I, like I said, I've always naturally been like a thicker, more curvier girl, even when I was younger. Even when I had kids, you know, I was smaller after having kids than I was before I had kids, but the curve was still there. I don't desire to be 150 anything though. When I look back at the pictures, I, I don't know, I looked youthful, but I look kind of, I don't know, it just wasn't for me. That's not my look. I do think I wanna probably be somewhere around like 160, 170, something like that. Maybe between 160, 165 or 165, 170, I don't know. Um, I'll know when I see it, but I do wanna be around that weight and that way I have a little bit of flex. Like if my top weight is going to be 170, then I probably wanna be like around 165. That way if I go on vacation or, you know, I'm partying a weekend or something like that and not really being super strict on fasting or what I'm eating or I don't work out for a couple of days because I'm traveling I get some extra water waste some sodium buildup some something like that or just gain extra pounds because I'm eating out um, I don't want to feel bad about doing that and about just living and having fun because there are times especially back then when I was being super strict that if I had went out of town and just gained a couple of weight, you know, a couple of pounds of weight and got a little bit bigger, I would come back and I can tell my face is more round and my stomach might be a little bit, you know, pudgy. And I did not like that. And I would be like, dang, I'm never going to do this. I'm going to not hang out. I'm going to not do this. And I don't want to do that. I do not not want to live. I want to live and I want to have a good time, but I just want to be mindful about that. So... I guess what I'm saying is let's do it together, right? And maybe this video could be like a reminder, like a gentle push for you because you've been thinking about the same thing to kind of get up and get to it. And really at the end of the day, 
just getting started, being consistent, eating healthy, moving your body is really what it takes. And then once you get into the rhythm of it, then things will be better. You'll see the you'll see the differences and where you started to where you now. I always encourage you to take videos and pictures. But then once you see it and other people start to see it, it encourages you to keep going, to keep going, to keep going. And so I'll say this. Number one, be focused and consistent. I'll always say that because consistency is key. You know, what is it? Hard work plus consistency equals results. That is very true. The next thing I would say is just be more mindful about what you eat. I'm not saying to go on this strict diet to where you're only eating 1,000 or 1,200 calories a day because that's just not realistic. Um, and it's not necessary at the same time. Any time that you have, or I have, or anybody has any excess weight that needs to come off of our body will come off if we eat right. Eating is the most important factor next to being consistent. It really has nothing to do with lifting weights or working out is really about your diet and what you eat. You can still have meals that are filling, that have plenty of flavor and taste, and a wide variety of different things that you still like to eat with portion control, um, and you'll still enjoy it, and you'll still be able to lose weight and do what you need to do. So find you a meal plan or um, just control your portions, but just be more mindful about what you eat. And then lastly, move your body, right? And so I think that sometimes people who have not really been consistent with working out or have never really worked out before, kind of feel like they have to kill themselves in the gym or they have to work out, you know, an hour or two a day, or, you know, they might be embarrassed to go and work out in the gym because they're just not really sure what to do or they're not comfortable with their body. And it seems like everybody else in the gym is, you know, super fit and so you might be embarrassed that's not the case right so you go to the gym and to me it's so motivating to go to the gym because I can see people who you know might not be where I am but they're working out which is encouraging I can see people who have body frames and types of where I desire to be or something similar and that's encouraging and that inspires me but the more I get into my groove and I'm starting to see results it's actually fun for me and it's a good stress reliever so just move your body and during the pandemic, the only thing I did was walk because the gyms were closed. So I walked, I fasted every day, and I made sure that I prepared my meals and was mindful about that, not using any guide or any diet plan, and the weight came off. And so if it worked for me, I know it can work for you too, and we can do this together. What I will do is I'll put a link below for my fitness pal. I'm not for sure if any of you are familiar with that or not. It is an app that I have been using for a long time now. And my fitness pal pretty much is a free app that tracks what you eat, the calories and things like that. So it's really helpful and it can help you kind of get into the groove of things until you have a better idea and a consistent plan about what it is that you're putting in your body as far as meals are concerned. I'm not somebody that drinks a lot of juice or sodas, which makes it easier. I do drink a lot of water. I probably have one cup of coffee a day and it's not hella sugary. So that is helpful too, because it's really the sugars that help with the weight gain more than it is the fats. But anyway, the app will help you with that. So the app is pretty self-explanatory. It's easy to navigate. You just download it and then you put in your information, like your email, your name, your age, your weight, your height, and then you put in your desired weight. And then you put in how many pounds that you desire to try to lose per week one pound or two pounds whatever the case may be it will let you know then and there how many calories you need to eat per day to be able to consistently lose you know that pound or two per week right and um, it's really helpful a nice thing too is that if you, even if you're eating out at fast food restaurants or you know even at a nice dine-in restaurant you can put the items that you're eating in there and it will track the amount of calories that your items have. It will track the cholesterol, the sodium, et cetera, et cetera. And if you're doing too much of something or not enough of something, it will tell you. It also can pair with your Apple Watch or your Fitbit or whatever kind of mechanism you use to track your fitness, which if you don't have something, I encourage you to buy something. It doesn't have to be hella expensive but to buy something to kind of help track your progress and how much you are working out because it will motivate you and push you to do even more. And if you pair that with my fitness pal, it just kind of puts everything together and it's another motivator. And then I can put my fitness pal username below too, which will allow you to see where I am and then I can see where you are and we can kind of motivate each other and maybe set up a weekly challenge to see how many steps we can get 
in or did we you know did we both work out three days a week or did we at least work out you know 30 minutes on this day whatever it may be to just kind of encourage each other and motivate each other and it's something that's nice it doesn't share any personal information with me other than the items that I just described and if you're comfortable enough and you want to check back in and you know three or four weeks or something like that with the information that you have started with and where you are three weeks later that would be great I'll feel free to share mine too if I'm not mistaken when I weighed myself last I weighed 174 so I'm 5'3 a thicker girl more so at the bottom and uh, I weigh 174 and so I still have like I said about 10 pounds that I want to lose to get between that 165 range so that you know I can feel more comfortable um, and here's another thing too I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with um, what is it called my 600 pound life my 600 pound life is probably one of my favorite shows and it has been for many years i really hope that dr now Zarden comes out with another season in 2023 but pretty much the basis of the show if you are not familiar is it's a show that offers a life-saving surgery to people who are morbidly obese and i've been watching the show for years and so i've seen it all across the maps a lot of the times people are six, seven, eight, I've even seen 900 pound people in here. Some people are bed bound. Some people have very limited mobility. Some people are able to get around, but they're struggling with their breathing and things like that. And But they realize that at this point, if they don't get their life together and they don't lose the weight, they are going to die. And so um, what Dr. Now Sarden does is he accepts them to the program. He basically shares with them what they need to eat, how many calories, and he gives them different meal ideas that they need to eat. Again, some of these people are bed bound and so they don't even have the ability to work out. Maybe they can do this, no exaggeration. Maybe he has them do arm rams or whatever they can do just to be mobile to some extent because at some point if they get the surgery, they are gonna need to be mobile so that they can get up and work and, and move around and things like that. Anyway, this video is hella impromptu, so it's not perfect by any means, but um, excuse me for any stumbles that I might have. But um, so he basically has them follow this program. And a lot of the times these people are coming in, like I said, they're morbidly obese. So they're really close to death. And they're like, okay, well, here's this meal plan. You can only eat these items and you have to do this. And when you come back in two months, show me that you can follow the meal plan before I give you surgery. And I want you to lose 100 pounds. And people are like, 100 pounds, there's no way. He doesn't want to help me. There's no way I'm going to be able to do it. But the truth of the matter is, is that for anybody that is overweight, and I don't care if it's extremely overweight or just overweight to some extent for your body type and frame, if you are overweight, any time that you eat better and you have portion control, the weight is going to fall off. That amount of weight can fall off for some of those people because they are six, seven, eight hundred pounds and they're eating thousands of pounds a day. So if you cut back on those pounds, the weight will fall off. And that's the same thing for you and I. If we cut back and reduce some of the things that we're eating, we be more careful about the food that we're putting in our mouths, the weight's gonna come off regardless if we work out or not. So any walking, weight lifting, et cetera, is only going to intensify what we're doing and how the weight falls off and how quickly it falls off, especially if we're being consistent. So let's be consistent together. So like I said, I will start with myself. I weigh 174, I am 5'3", my goal right now is 165. I've always been working out, you know, five to six days a week, so I'll continue to do so. Um, when I go to work, and I have to actually go into the office. My workouts are a little bit shorter. And any time that I have time off of work or like it's a weekend where I don't have to go in, I usually like to extend those because I have a little bit more time to just focus on me. And I like working out as a stress reliever. Um, but I would say for anybody who's starting out or willing or interested, let me know below. Share your thoughts or concerns with me. Um, I'm more than happy to talk to you about it because it's fun to me and I love to see people win. I think one of the reasons why I like my 600 pound life so much is because I love to see when the underdog accomplishes something big and they overcome what seemed to be impossible at the time. And you see a lot of good success stories on there too. Anyway, um, I think that if, at least if we can get started with a good 30 minutes, something simple, 
pay attention to what you're eating, be consistent, there will be some results. And of course, anything you do above and beyond that is only going to help. So I just wanted to pop in and with this little video, say hi, happy new year, hopefully everything is good. I don't even know if I introduced myself, but my name is Ray, just in case I didn't. And like, comment, and subscribe because I have been forgetting to say that. I have got a new, some new people who have subscribed to my channel, so thank you very much. But let's talk about it. Let's engage below, talk to me below. Um, let's be friendly if we can. I did have one gentleman, I think it was a gentleman, come on and he was kind of sassy in his approach to say the least. But um, other than that, I have really appreciated the feedback that I have gotten. I loved engaging with you guys and talking with you guys. And fitness is something that I really, really enjoy. When you look good, you feel even better. And so, um, Let's engage, and if this is something that you're interested in doing, we can motivate each other and get on to new and bigger and better things together in the new year. So I hope to hear from you guys soon. I will try to insert some pictures just so that you can get an idea, but you can also reference a couple of videos that I have created back in 2020. Um, and I think there's also one that gives you an idea of some of the food ideas that I've cooked because I'm always cooking. I do have a family. And so I have to make sure that I'm eating things and making things for my boys that are going to be healthy, but also that they taste good. And I am not the mom that's cooking 17 different um, meal items for each person. We are all going to eat the same thing, but I make sure that it's good. And it's the same thing that I did when I was losing weight. I made sure that it was tasty, that it was good, that it was fun. I just made sure I controlled my portions and stayed away from some things that I knew that I did not need to have or I limited them because I was really focused on doing what I needed to do once I realized I was losing weight. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys soon. Hopefully you guys are having a great one. For those of you who return to work today like myself, back to the grind and then for those of you who still have a day or so off until you go back into the office enjoy it for all of us please all right i'll talk to you guys soon have a good one